Hey guys, it's Endless, and um, I haven't posted in a little while, but this uh, video that I'm doing right now, this is actually a new Historic Artisan ladder season. Um, there have been some uh, rearrangements in the uh, Artisan community, and um, someone else has stepped up to organize uh, a league or a ladder or whatever you call it. Um, Previous folks who are organizing such things have not been able to do it for various reasons So I'm glad to be playing some more historic artisan and um, There's an artisan cup coming up pretty soon. We're mulliganing that hand by the way. This hands a lot better and we'll ditch the island I think So so basically right we want to um, I mean, you know I'm a controlly kind of minded player, but we got some new cards in uh, Wilds of Eldraine, including one very interesting card called Up the Beanstalk. And um, Up the Beanstalk is basically, it's a two mana green value engine, it's an enchantment that when it enters the battlefield, you, um, well here it is right here. All right, so we'll cycle this for a basic island. And then, right, so it replaces itself. And then, um, whenever you cast a five mana, uh, a spell with five mana value uh, or greater, you draw a card. So it doesn't have to resolve. It doesn't have to be a creature that enters the battlefield, like for Garrick's Uprising. You just, um, you just get it. Kind of saw that coming, that was going to eat a counter spell. But Alright, so my opponent's on some kind of fairy tempo shell with snow. Beetle push, drawn in the lock. I mean, once we get to five mana, basically, even if he counters a five mana spell, I still get value because this this thing is sitting here and okay and there's an anthem so let's just do this while um, he's tapped out unfortunately we're kind of just sitting here this fairy dream thief he'll be able to get a card back though this card's pretty good too Okay, Circuit Mender goes through. Um, he did not have a two mana counter spell there. He's playing the blue black snarl um, reveal land. Alright, so I've got a Circuit Mender out. I've got up the beanstalk out. Um, I basically sort of just have to sit here until I can start casting five mana spells and then get some kind of advantage. So he's gonna edict me, which is pretty good. But I, um, okay, so we didn't draw a land, but my opponent is tapped out and it means I can go get I'm gonna get a forest so I can cast Blossom Prancer in turn five if possible. Um, so, right. So basically, with up the Beanstalk, it's this it's this value engine, and maybe we can use it to make Sultai great again. Um, this anthem is pretty scary. I might blow up the anthem. Or he's gonna counter that. Okay, so that's not looking so great for me. I'm gonna go down to, what, nine?
cling to dust, that's a good card. Let's get rid of this Anthem. So now we're on a three turn clock. I'm not even sure what I can do sideboard wise. I guess I can play uh, Mystical Disputes, probably good here. Got another um, Cry the Carnarium, is probably good. Um, that kind of looks like GG here. Yeah, too many creatures. Yeah, they're in the towel. Don't show any cards in my hand. Okay, so game two, we're gonna want Cry for sure. Let's go Dispute. I think Lonely End, do we wanna play Lonely End? It's still, it's still good early interaction, I guess. Um, that Anthem effect was kind of brutal, uh, and he's probably running several of them. Uh, I'm thinking playing one Haywire Might for that instead of binding the old gods and we can trim one of these arch this archfiend of sorrows well it's a wipe actually and if he counters it I can still unearth it and he can't counter the unearth so maybe that's still good um, so maybe we'll can ditch one of these bullets Some Prancer is a good blocker. I think Beanstalk Giant isn't as good here. Uh, we're just gonna win on value, so I don't think we need two Bath Song. Then we'll play another Blossom Prancer. Perhaps. I don't know. Okay. We're on the play, we have a board wipe. We don't have two black mana. I think we have to keep this. Okay, we can do a turn three circuit mender and he can't um, do anything to it. But this, uh, that's gonna be scary. He pulls out some more rogues. We're just gonna have to go for a uh, circuit mender beat down here. Creature, enchantment, or planeswalker card. Okay. So. I mean, honestly, his best thing to grab here is Circuit Mender. 
but then if I top deck a land, I can play fine. So he took Circuit Mender, can get it back with Urborg. Um, okay, so we have, we got a Lorien here, which is good. Um, I'm gonna get a blue-black tap land, so we have um, Mana for Cry next turn, if we need to. He'll probably leave up Mana. So is our best play here to do Bath Song as a decoy? I think I think this is a good decoy spell. Oh, he didn't have anything. Okay. Well, I'm glad it resolved. Jeez. And that's why we have Haywire Might. That was awesome. Um, have to ditch one of these cards. I think actually Binding is the worst card here. Okay, so we'll Beanstalk as a, maybe a decoy. Okay, spell stutter, so that's basically powered up uh, mana leak. Okay, so next turn we'll add double blue and shuffle. So what are we going to shuffle back? We're going to Urborg two things. We probably shuffle Lorien. Um, I'm gonna double spell him here. He can't stop both.
All right, so it looks like I will be discarding a card. Or two cards, actually. Um, that's not good. Um, I can discard Archfiend to that. Um, let's Urbor. Let's just get maybe um, If he has cling to dust, then my Archfiend plan um, falls to shambles, but... If he doesn't have cling to dust, then I can just unearth Archfiend and wipe his board if he attacks me with the... If he makes me discard. That goes off, um, which is very good. I mean, I guess I should have just played out my hand. That was stupid, holding back the land. I have to discard my whole hand. All right, and if he has cling to dust, this is GG. He doesn't. So the I made a mistake there. Should have played the uh, jungle hollow. It's too bad. Okay, he fatal pushes the circuit mender, so we draw a card. That's great for us, actually. All right, so we may actually survive here. Pick lock prankster. He gets Halo Forager, is he, he's not going to play it, is he? He'll play a Fairy Miscreant. And the Prankster, okay. Alright, so what... spell is he going to go for here? See, it's too bad I didn't play that top land before, because then I could have done up the beanstalk right here. I'm just going to do it now. 
Oh, well, we drew land, so. All right, we've got our draw engine down. Hopefully we get some more nice things soon. All right, so he can either get Fatal Push, he can get Drawn the Lock, or he can Extract the Truth. So Extract the Truth, he'll get my Armored Scrap Gorger, which isn't very good. Um, if he drowns in the lock, okay, I have to sacrifice an enchantment. We got value off of it, and we have three more in the deck. I'd rather keep my uh, prankster here. Let him draw two. So Scrap Gorger will be good if he does another Halo Forager. I assume he's playing more than two. Alright, I just did that. That's not so good against the Dream Thief, but if he tries to cast a spell this turn, I will counter it. And he's done it. Three life. So I think I win the race here. Forgot to exile. That's a pretty big oops. That might have cost me the game. Okay, that was clutch to have that fatal push there. See, I could have won right here. If, um,. I had done this. Okay, GG, I think. Okay, that was really close. <laughs> uh, Okay, so he has a way to get me to sacrifice an enchantment. So I think... I mean, this is still good because maybe I can steal his. I think this is still just... It's, I think it's still just good. Hey, why am I this good? Um, I can 
be playing a more reactive game. So probably we got to kill these lords and the unas. Um, stone is not good. All of his lords died a fatal push. Twenty-two lands. Do we trim a land? We need our lands early. That anthem effect is just it's just brutal though. Um Sixty one cards. Sixty one cards. Sixty one card special. We got our Haywire Might. Save fa I'll save Fatal Push for the Lord. I don't want to Fatal Push the Fairy Dream Thief. Alright, so for turn two, I have two good plays here. Um. He could have Spell Stutter if he leaves up mana. Creature, Enchantment, or Planeswalker. All right, so he's gonna get the Beanstalk. Oh, he got the ramp, interesting. I would have taken the, uh, the Beanstalk if I were him. Ninjutsu. Ninjutsu. And he's stuck on two lands, which is great. Nope. Do it that way. So I have two cards in my graveyard, so this could eat a spell stutter. Uh, he lets it resolve. Wants to do pick lock. So he got an Obira Dreaming Duelist. Um, let us flash. Ooh, death to the Kami. Okay. That's an interesting sideboard card. Um, play Scrap Gorger here. 
keep going with that circuit mender beatdown. Man, these uh, alchemy insects, man. So will he play pick block prankster as a blocker? Oh, he bolts the bird. Uh, okay. Alright, well I got him to tap out so I can do this. Alright. I think the one mana for the beats and the three life. I don't know, maybe that was bad. I could have just attacked with Mender. Alright, another free the Fey. He has John in the lock. Another forest card will take Mannerborn. Let's decoy this. I didn't want to hold Behold the Unspeakable for the next turn because finding the old gods was going to go to my graveyard and there would be five cards in my graveyard and then he could drown the lock Behold the Unspeakable. So we're just going to get that out of his hand. That was just a really expensive duress. And we got gate to Mannerborn, so if he does hold up mana, we just won't play into it. Oh wow, okay. So first of all, I have Death Touch. We got the hold through. He plays the anthem. He taps out, he taps out, he taps out. So we can't attack here. We can fatal push. Or do we beanstalk giant now? me on like a three turn clock though this is kind of scary not loving it a 
Okay, Halo Forager, he doesn't have anything. Okay, so we have eight mana. Can behold. Okay, cry. That got rid of my guy, that's okay. We can shoulder it on my turn and draw four cards. Forager. Not totally sure if that was the right play there. Um, but I did need to get rid of the Anthem. Could be argued that getting rid of the Halo Forager would have been better. So at the end of his turn, I can Mannerborn, I think, and then... Can probably play up the Beanstalk. I think even if he plays like an Anthem and a Lord here, I'm probably still good. Because Vision will go up to 4-4. Up the beanstalk. Alright, how much mana do we have to work with? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, chef's kiss.
That means we can do Boas, and then we can do Blast and Fancy. Uh, do we just pay it? I'll pay it. Even if he deals with Bolas here, he'll still have summoning sickness. Well, okay, we just narrowly eked out the win against the uh, blue black um, fairy Templar deck. So um, that was historic, um, historic artisan. It's a new ladder organized in the artisan Discord server. Um, by Tife Renoir. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.